everybody, Susie here from Rock Painting 101. I am hopping on today with two quick designs that you can make for Independence Day, which is right around the corner. We've got these two designs, we're working on them at the same time, and so can you. So follow along with the tutorial and let me know in the comments what you think of these cute rock ideas. So um, if you saw the, uh, the post, I'm gonna do three fast, fun, um, uh, rocks for the 4th of July, some USA rocks. So for my non-USA followers, you can try to alter this to fit in with your country or you can just skip this video altogether. Um, I'm going to bounce around between the three designs just so um, I don't have to wait for dry time excessively. I am going to use my pens so that I can expedite the process a little bit. The layers dry pretty quick, um, but if you have paints and a brush, you could easily do these as well with that. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've got all three different sizes of my red, white, and blue here. Um, you could probably get away with just, I would say, um, the three M's and possibly a one M for some detail work. So I'm just going to start by filling in this center. This one's on a more oval shaped rock with white here. I've kind of got some doodle designs off to the side of what I'm planning on doing. So we're just gonna bounce around, like I said, between three completely different designs. So on this rock, I'm going to do a circle right in the middle, like so. And for this one here, I think I'm gonna leave it as is for right now. So if you're stopping in, go ahead and say hi. I'm cha I changed my camera angle for my lives a little bit. I have a, a harder time seeing than I used to for the comments during the videos, but I always come back and check them after. So if you want to say hi, um, let people know where you're watching from. Um, that's always fun. Sometimes you find a rock painting buddy, I say, in the group. So for this one, we're going to do kind of a flower shape. So I'm going to start with my red. Now spacing petals can sometimes be tricky. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a line and then across from that line, I'm gonna make a blue one like so. Now I want six petals. So I've got to be able to sp split this half into thirds. So I'm gonna go about here like so. And this one I want to be across from it. So I'm gonna try to do kind of across like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do one petal here and one petal here. You can always adjust these a little bit as well. And then we're going to do one petal here on either side of the red. And you can also make this fit based on what your rock looks like as well. Oop, I pulled a little bit of blue into that. Make sure I get that off. Like so, and we'll let those dry and then I'll go ahead and do another layer on that. All right, the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a layer of red around the center. And I'm gonna grab my bigger red um, for filling in. Oh, maybe not, just kidding, I'm not going to. I'm gonna start with my white on this one. And I'm just going to do stripes all the way around in this red circle. So I'm just going to pull towards the center so that the, my stripes go around the outside edge. They'll be a little bit thicker on the outside edge than they are on the inside edge. Like so. And listening intently for footsteps. A lot of little ones in the house so when they get up they wake up hungry <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you know that um, all right we are give that white a second to dry we're gonna do the outside edge in all blue and blue goes on nice and thick it always only needs one coat and we're just gonna go ahead and fill this around and again I'm using my bigger one for time but if you've only got the three M's you can do that and and also, if you're joining in now, if you only have acrylics, you can definitely do these designs. It's just a little bit quicker for me to use my pens. I don't have to worry about 
setting up all my paints and having to clean them all up so I can jump in on these lives quickly for you. Before I have got to get going. There we go, just like that. And we're gonna have um, black in between these layers, so don't worry about this um, line in the center. Okay, so we're gonna move that off to the side. I'm gonna go back over my red here where I pulled that blue because I don't want any blue in my red outline. There we go. I am going to do the same thing. Now I'm gonna use my one M for my white on the stripes here, just because I have a little bit more control. So I'm just gonna take and do stripes across my red petals, like so. Now if you're using a one M, hold it at a slight angle and don't press too hard. I know you can hear that probably in the video. So you can kind of hear the texture. If you're on a textured rock, it can make your pen kind of spatter if you're using too much pressure. So just, I always say the paint wants to go on the rock. You don't have to press very hard. There we go. And we'll do one more set over here. We'll give them time to dry like that. And often I will find, like with the white, when I first colored it in, it almost looked like it was gonna need a huge second coat. Some of these edges for the stripes look like they could use a little bit more, but the center looks pretty good. So I'm gonna pull these one more time quickly, just to give them that second coat. Like that. All right. We'll go back over here. Like I said, I'm sorry, I'm bouncing back and forth, but this way you can get two rocks done um, easily here. Here we go. So I'm gonna just do my red stripes. My flowers here. I'm doing these for the 4th of July here in America, but if you're in a different country, which a lot of people that watch the page are, um, you can do these in whatever colors. Um, your flag has or you can just do them in basic colors as well just you would probably skip the last step we're gonna do here for sure so I'm letting these dry just a little bit I don't want to pull any red into my white here so I want to make sure these red stripes are completely dry before I go in with my white stripes for the second coat so we're gonna move on to this rock here and we'll be able to finish this one up basically so I've got my 1m um, black here and I'm going to circle each of these layers on here. And obviously take your time. I'm going a little faster than I would if I was just leisurely sitting around and painting. Okay, back to the beginning there, okay. So as you can see, there's gonna be some areas in here to touch up with the red and white stripes. But for now, I'm not a stickler, so I'm not gonna go nuts and make actual five pointed stars on my outer edge. I'm just gonna come around with my white and add the dots. Because it gets a point across the point. There's no need to stress out about doing 50 exact stars for something that you're gonna hide around town. There we go. If you're making a gift, you can obviously go in and take your time and make it a little bit more detailed. I've done some Veterans Rocks in the past where I've added a lot more specific details, but for these, these quick little fun rocks to hide around, these I just let them I say, give myself some grace on these. I'm just getting rid of this red line here. I don't like that showing. The black didn't quite cover that up as much as I thought it would. There we go. All right. So last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and 
All right. I'm going to put the S in first, just because we can center that a little bit. And you can find the size for your other two letters a little easier. My sizing isn't fantastic on that anyways, but there you go. Super simple. How quick did we finish that one? All right, let's finish this one up. I'm sure you can kind of see where this one's going, obviously. I do have my white here. And have my white go out to my edge. I think I hear some giggling coming from downstairs. So it's I'm running low on time here. I'm going to add that on. We're going to sneak a USA in the center here. So again, you do your S first in the middle. And then you can add your other two letters on the sides, even if they're smaller, USA, just like that. And if you want, you could add a, a stem to it. Um, you could also add just a couple leaves off to the sides of this kind, like something along these lines. Okay, and then you can do, do like that. Either way, you're good, and I hear voices. So we had great timing, everybody. So if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Let me know. Do you have a favorite between the two? Um, and we'll see you all really soon with another rock painting tutorial. Bye-bye.